Hi everybody. Just having a chocolate break because I have been spring cleaning and I came across a bag of very interesting art supplies that I haven't seen in a few years. I had tucked them away and some of them I actually thought I wouldn't be able to afford to purchase again so I kind of hid them <laughs> for emergency use only and then I kind of forgot about them so mm. here is the huge bag it hardly fits on camera so let's get in to this Ziploc bag. I'll take it off camera a minute. And what we'll do is bring out individual items. Winsor and Newton drawing ink. I have six of these that I found. They're as old as I'm going to say before 2012 or 2011, kind of maybe 20, maybe 2009, 2010, 11, 12 era from then. I don't know if they've dried out, if there's any ink left. Oh, there's still a lot of ink in here. They've hardly been used. So let's see if that's like for the other five. Here is the silver. We have a purple, a metallic gold. So let's open up, I don't think I even opened up these metallics. I was so scared of being rubbish at art. So we can shake them all up, these metallics. They've still got ink in them. <laughs> ah, it's like a treasure trove. And I thought if we've got time, we'll create a piece. So this was the gold oh now that's gone oh that's a shame isn't it what we'll have to do is maybe add some gum arabic solution to that the gold has completely can we see that on camera there's no liquid left it's all of the pigment is solid <laughs> so easy remedy maybe depending because they are water-based um, I might be able to add some gum arabic and water and see if that fixes it. So I'll put that to one side. If I shake the silver, there's still liquid in there. have to give them a good shake and we'll see how that works. I tend not to really use metallics, I have to say. I always like to give these a shake, but look at this lovely purple. And that's not dried out. What could have happened, I was expecting maybe some to have, um, what do you call it? Evaporate. But they haven't. And then we have a deep red. And we have a burnt sienna. So I will put them into their corresponding boxes still. And that red was scarlet red. And the silver is just metallic aluminium. 
that's what it's called. So it would be great if you were doing, um, you know, tin plates and things. Um, you know, camping equipment and other stuff. This is the Burnt Sienna. Oh, look at that. There's nothing in there, apart from the pigment. It's all evaporated. Look at it. I hope we can get that on camera. Label. Can we see that? The pigment has completely separated from the liquid. <laughs> nothing at all. So again, I'll put that with the gold and we'll see in a later video if I can make them work again. So now this is the deep red. And that still looks juicy and full. We give it a shake. And here, deep red. I imagine the design on the packaging has changed heaps since these, um, these were sent to me. Okay, so put that there. So two, so we've got four. So that's not bad going considering how old they are. Now, what else is in my bag? Some Harley Muley pack of six pencils, which are watercolour pencils. And I know from experience they were no good. They were free with a sketchbook. And the, there isn't much pigment in them at all. Um, didn't like them. These are the cheapest um, oil pastels I could find by a company called Campus. This was again years ago from a local hobby store in France. See, called Campus. And there are 12. I think I had a quick um, go with these. Sometimes I like to do oil pastels or use them as resist. And see, they're still relatively um, full. a nice set there. So we'll have a look at that later. And then we've got some watercolour, are they called Pro Markers or something? By Windsor and Newton. They are just called a watercolour marker. Here we go. <laughs> I bet these have all dried out. I bet they have. And then we've got the last bottle. There seems to be some left in here. The Windsor & Newton Black Indian Ink, which is permanent and um, waterproof, basically. And there is still some in there. But uh, all the other drawing inks are uh, water soluble. So look at all of that. And that is the end of the bag, ready to have things put back in them. And what I've done is I've made some concertina sketchbooks, miniature ones, to test out the material. This one happens to be an actual watercolour one. So we can test out quite a lot of the supplies on that. We open up. Depends what we're going to swatch first. Well, not even swatch as such. Let's think. We'll probably put 
put these inks away for a minute. I look forward to fixing those inks actually and adding more gum arabic solution. So just put my ones here, a few of them. So we'll have a bit of a Windsor and Newton sketch I think. here and what I'm going to do I've got my paintbrush and some jars of water and I will start just scribbling now with these markers they're double ended I'll be amazed if they're still inking here and there is and then this end is the thick I'm amazed. I truly am amazed. There is still <laughs> ink in that. And you have to... They're quite light and you can see it doesn't really want to... I mean it's not the most expensive watercolour paper I'm using. But I do tend to think it's probably why I put them away. I don't get on with markers that well because as soon as you put it, put it down, it will bleed into the paper and sink in before you can add water. So the other thing I came up with, and I'll be back in a minute with it, is this plastic palette. <laughs> it's a miniature little white plastic palette with six little wells. And... What you can do is scribble your ink into the palette, like so. And I'll do the same with the red to make it fair. And then damp brush and pick up with the blue, just swirling it a bit. And then that gives you a much better effect. the blue which is a cerulean blue hue and then we have a 003 which is as a lizard crimson hue yep okay so now the next color i don't often do these swatches i have to say but I just thought it would be of interest to you guys just to see old art supplies can still work <laughs> and it might encourage me to use them now that I can see using them in a palette makes them still good watercolours and that's a good one And this one is a number 541 and it is a Prussian blue hue. It 
if you would like me to swatch the rest of the pens I've got, leave me a comment in the comment section below. Because now I'm going to move on and have a look at the uh, Winsor & Newton inks. Because I'm quite tempted to, really eager to see how these operate. And if I can even open them would be a, a, a miracle because the uh, binder and the glue and everything is kind of stuck to the lips. So let's see. Oh good, this one has undone. What I like about the, these actually, it made me go looking. I was watching a YouTube video and they were discussing ink wells for your ink to actually um, siphon off ink from a bigger bottle and put it into like an ink well and that way you can actually fill up your pen better. And the Winsor & Newton inks are the size of an inkwell, you see. They're perfect bottles to keep once you've used the ink. Anyway, I'm going to put my damp brush directly and put it into this palette. And this is Scarlet, which is number 967. And I'm just going to... And I hope you can still see on camera no you can't so again I'm having to use a different look at that it's just my recording method with the tripod look at that it would still keep going if I added water Isn't that amazing vibrant ink Some of that ink was still left in the brush, which is interesting. Red does tend to be harder to get out of the brushes. So now I really want to try this purple one. Let's see how we go with opening it. This is tight. See if I can leave it with my scissors. If not, we'll have to do it in another video because I'll have to run it under the hot tap. <laughs> but I normally can get this to work by putting scissors and um, just to leave uh, the stickiness. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. We'll put a damp brush in. And turn the page. Bit of a spill here. Okay, and here we go, amazing, still vibrant and no bits in it, I am amazed, let's see what we get from the, the bits of my spillage, now that doesn't move so if I put some in a palette and then add here, look at that. I don't know if we can see on camera here again. If you're missing all my fun, I put it here. I 
I wonder if you can then build up. I bet you probably can, can't you? You let it dry and then you use more to build up the colour. That'd be nice. Well, that was nice. And that was the purple. Literally, doesn't say on the bottle. It just says, ink may be thinned with distilled water. But on the actual bottle, it doesn't tell you. The, oh, it does tell you the colour right down at the bottom. I was going to say, I'd be surprised if it didn't. But it's difficult to see it. It's quite small and in black because the leaf is black, so it kind of blends with the design. So that was difficult. Right. So put that to one side. And then we've got this one. I think it's our last one now. Is deep red. Let's see if we can undo that. We can, without needing scissors. But we've got some dry ink <laughs> that is uh, falling off. <laughs> so we'll put it there. Brilliant. Get rid of all of that. Doesn't want to go. So deep red. Oh wow. I would have said that this was more like a sienna. Maybe brick red or Venetian y. Definitely got a brownie tone to it. Unless I need to uh, shake it more to make the colours come, you know, better because they're old. But still, a really lovely colour. And no bits, apart from just around the top of the bottle. But you give it a quick wipe, which I'm going to do now. And it should help when we next take the lid off, which will be very, very soon. I'm determined to use these up and get some more because they are affordable now that I found shops that ship to France, uh, Jackson Art Supplies, and I'm hoping that Cass Art will start shipping to France again because apparently they used to, but then Brexit happened and they stopped because of the trade deal. But I'm thinking if Jackson Art Supplies are able to get around that, then I'm hoping so will Cass Art because they're missing out on a lot of sales from us guys in Europe. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to have a quick look at these campus. oil pastels and again just one one or two I might look at if you want a full swatch thing or a full look at them just let me know in the comments below so I will pick this one and it is a I don't think it even gives you the name it's that cheap we'll see just says oil pastel oil pastel oil pastel so it's like I'm gonna say 
I don't know, maybe a light pink. It's like a nice colour, isn't it? Can you see that? They feel a bit dry, I have to say. I've used better oil pastels like by Pentel. They feel more... Um, I don't like oil bars, I have to say. I don't want it to be like oil. But these were probably why I put them away. But they were uh, drier than I had expected. And will take a bit longer. But they're perfect for doing. And I suppose I will quickly with the white, just do the resist work. Because that's what I use them for mainly. So we'll get the uh, purple out, I think, because the darkish color works best. Thankfully, didn't drop on the floor because I'm conscious that my battery on the phone's going, so I'm kind of rushing now. <laughs> and let's do this. Let's see if we get any resistance. It takes a while, you have to let things dry for the resist to come through. Ah, we are getting a bit, aren't we? As it dries. You see that? You just have to give it a bit. And slowly, it is coming through the white. So guys, I hope that this has been of interest to you. Again, help me out by hitting the like button. Hit the follow subscribe button if you haven't already thank you so much share my video because when you like my video it tells youtube that you're enjoying my content and it helps the algorithm to promote my videos to more people so with that said i will catch you really soon bye so off camera i just tried opening the drawing ink the black drawing ink for Winslow newton and the cap has snapped because it wouldn't undo so i did my scissor method and it is just disintegrating the cap cap are flying off everywhere so basically this um has to be ditched <laughs> unless i can find eventually get this off and i can find a cork or something to replace Billig. But in other news, remember the, the uh, burnt sienna had all dried up. I actually decided to just fill it up with um, water, basically, my mineral water, and see what would happen. And it is slowly dissolving the pigment. So we'll see how it goes.